Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a part two video about MS-13 versus 18th Street Gang. On September 21st, 2014, at around 1 a.m., Brian Rubio, who belonged to the 18th Street Gang, along with other persons, was waiting at a bus stop at Wilshire and Western. A dark-colored Silverado pickup truck stopped at a red light by the bus stop. Rubio and some young guys in the truck exchanged hand gestures. Rubio raised his middle finger in a disrespectful gesture. The truck turned around the corner. Rubio said to the person seated next to him, something is about to pop off. Two men identified by other evidence as Kevin Alvarado and Christian Degoberto Salcido walked to the bus stop from the direction of the truck. Someone, presumably Rubio, said either everything's good, man, or is everything good crazy. Rubio held both hands up at chest height with his palms out. Alvarado produced a gun, racked it, and fired numerous shots at Rubio, who was backing up from approximately eight feet away. Saucedo stood approximately four feet away from Alvarado and watched. Rubio fell on top of a woman who was selling tamales, and they both landed on the ground. Alvarado shot Rubio in the head. Saucedo and Alvarado then ran northbound on Western to where the Silverado was stopped just before 6th Street. They jumped in the truck, which drove southbound on Western again. Rubio suffered gunshot wounds to his head and back and died at the scene. No weapons were found at the bus stop. An open knife was discovered inside Rubio's pocket, but there was no evidence Rubio had it or another weapon in his hands when he was shot. The revolver used in the shooting was not recovered. None of the eyewitnesses was able to identify the assailants. Surveillance videos taken from cameras located on Western Avenue showed a dark colored truck drive southbound on Western at around 1 a.m. on the night of the shooting and again around 1.04 a.m. At 1.06 a.m., the video showed Saucedo and Alvarado running northbound on Western. At 1.07 a.m., the truck drove southbound again. A police car that was in the area of the shooting at approximately 1 a.m. was equipped with a license plate recognition LRS camera. It recorded a dark-colored Silverado truck traveling on Western at 1.02 a.m. The vehicle's license plate number was traced to Tobar's estranged wife. At Tobar's address in Inglewood, Tobar was identified as a suspect and his cellular telephone was examined pursuant to a warrant. Through examination of his phone records, police identified other suspects including Saucedo. Both Tobar's and Saucedo's cellular telephones contain numerous photos depicting them with MS-13 graffiti or throwing MS-13 gang signs. Detectives interviewed Saucedo in November 2014. Saucedo stated that Tobar drove him, Ruiz, Alvarado, and Alvarado's female friend, a woman known as Blackie, to Koreatown in Los Angeles. When stopped at a red light, they observed a man at a bus stop at Will Wilshire and Western. Ruiz exchanged words with the man and threw an MS-13 gang sign. Blackie, Alvarado, and Ruiz suggested they turn around and beat the man up. The truck circled around and passed the bus stop a second time. Tobar stopped the truck nearby the bus stop. Blackie gave Saucedo her white sweater and told him to put it on. He did. He also wore a cap to cover his face. Saucedo and Alvarado exited and approached the victim at the bus stop. Alvarado was carrying a revolver. Alvarado asked if Rubio was from the 18th Street Gang. Rubio said 18. Alvarado said MS and Alvarado fired multiple shots at Rubio. Saucedo claimed that as soon as he saw the gun or heard the first shot, he ran back to the waiting truck. Saucedo knew that Tobar had a gun in the truck under the front passenger seat. He did not know that Alvarado had it on his person when they approached the bus stop. Saucedo believed they were just going to fight the victim, not kill him. There were too many people at the bus stop. After Alvarado returned to the truck, Tobar drove the group around the block again and Saucedo saw the victim on the ground. Alvarado said he shot Rubio because he thought Rubio was about to pull out a weapon. Saucedo did not see the victim holding a knife or other weapon. The group then went to the beach and either that night or the next day took pictures of persons in the group throwing gang signs. Christian Saucedo was convicted of second degree murder and criminal street gang conspiracy. Christian Saucedo was not sentenced until 2019. In September 2019, Christian Saucedo was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. Christian was awarded 1,771 days of actual custody credit and 265 days of conduct credit for a total of 2,036 days.